Alright guys, welcome back to Boss Gaming HD. So we fought Eddie Chambers in the last video. This time we're fighting none other than Vitaly Klitschko. He's a guy that I sort of based my character off really quite loosely. I didn't make him as tall, didn't make his reach quite as long as Vitaly. So this fight should be pretty damn good. So hopefully it, 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 it you know it's a good fight and here's the he's the sparring to sort of go with it. Now you know, I want a good training camp with this, that's why I chose open sparring. I uh, sort of knew that if I used a lot of jabs and stuff in this, that I'd be able to get the champion rank. And then hopefully, you know, with that, I should be able to have enough XP to, you know, put a few good points on with the boxer growth. So, so the fire that's coming up, I haven't, I haven't seen my character against Vitaly Klitschko, so it's hard to sort of see sort of predict how the fight's going to pan out but i'd imagine that i'm going to be fighting this a little bit more like a brawler a little bit more like a short range guy because obviously i'm going to be on the back foot a lot i can't be walking onto the shots of vitaly because he'll just end up absolutely spannering me with his straights and, and, and jabs and stuff like that so i've got to fight quite um quite smart with this fight and if i do get through this fight then you know it's looking good because um you know, fighters like Vitaly and, and Vladimir and big sort of long range punches are sort of what I'd imagine to be my weak point. You know, I can't imagine I'd I'd be as confident against those as I would be against a short guy with, you know, an inside fighter sort of style. So we'll have to see how it goes. Um, this is looking pretty good. This sparring at the minute, I'm on like 40,000. I think you need 40 for the champion. So, you know, if I just get 45 or something like that, I'd be quite happy with that. And as you can see, if you just do combination jabs with this, you can actually just accumulate a bunch of points quite easily. You know, even if they're blocking, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as you don't get yourself knocked down, you should be fine. And I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy with those points there. So that should be champion. And then we'll have a little see what points I can put on. Yeah, I got champion there quite easily. And uh, we'll move on. So here are the stats. You can see my jab's nearly full. I've got quite a lot on blocking now to the second star, so that should be quite handy as well. Uh, the blocking will come important in this fight, I'd imagine. So, you know, let's get to it. I say I'll, I'll probably be cutting out a bunch of the crap in this fight. You know, not the not the rounds. I mean, just obviously the uh, the obviously the simulation fights and stuff like that. So here we go got the fight coming up like I say I'm going to try and pull out all the stops with this you can see the difference is there you know his height is you know about four inches higher you know he's, he's, he's a he's a big guy look at him look at the size of him makes me look tiny so this should be an interesting fight really should you can see he's throwing a lot of punches I expected that that's why I don't want to be walking forward because I'd be walking onto all of those you can see I was just throwing a lot of straights a lot of jabs and you know it's sort of my style really except he's really been a little bit more aggressive with it I'm just going to take my time here just uh, just do the jabs jabs and straights I think I'm going to primarily just do jabs for the first couple of rounds I'm not going to try and do anything too too stylish when he's walking back like this I probably shouldn't be chasing him but you know if I can catch him with a few then I don't mind that was some, a nice little combination with the jab there that's going to that's gonna do well through the fight I think I think that's working yeah that's working well I think if I can keep on keep on hitting him with that jab he's not going to have much help on stamina but I sit round 3-4 um, I don't know I don't know with this fight really should be able to knock him out at the rate that it's going but you know if he does go to points I know well uh, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather get the knockout though because it, it's not going to get any easier these fights I'm starting to fight the big names now and you know, it really isn't going to get any easier. Right, so let's do this. Just keep jabbing, jab to the head, to the body. <clears throat> now, I would, I would sidestep more with a guy coming in like this. Now, the reason why I'm not sidestepping as much as I normally would is because he is throwing a lot of, you know, a lot of sort of hooks. Um, I'm trying to think of the word, but he's throwing a lot of wild hooks, and I don't want to sidestep into one of those. Um, Necessarily, I don't even want to really sidestep away from one of those because they can still catch you when they're throwing these big looping right and left hands. So, what I'm sort of doing is I'm walking backwards, 
which you might think is a little bit silly considering that his most powerful punches will be jabs and straight so walking back might not be the most efficient thing to do but the whole plan is to step back and then fill his face with jabs so that he can't follow up with his own punches uh, obviously sidestepping's fine but the only punches I can throw from a sidestep are going to be hooks and my hooks aren't great so I'll only be doing that in sort of in sort of intervals I won't be doing it all the time when I'm on the ropes I'll sidestep obviously and throw a few hooks there I missed with those two but I'm fairly fairly confident that Vitaly Klitschko's hooks are going to be much stronger than mine so I've just got to be wary of that so more of the same round two not, not much has changed I'm wasting more punches this round that's for certain I'm not landing with that jab as, as cleanly as I was but you can see he's throwing a lot of punches he's much more aggressive than I thought he was going to be uh, Vitaly Klitschko in, in reality is a lot much uh, is a lot safer He's got a much safer, safer style, is what I'm trying to say. You know, he, he's, he's very much like, he doesn't throw until he knows he can hit. Whereas in the game, obviously, they can't program him exactly how he is. And he's obviously much more aggressive than I expected him to be. So, um, I mean, I expected him to be aggressive, but not, not this aggressive, you know. But it's his greatest of all time. The <clears throat> greatest of all time, if you stand next to him and just try and fight, you know, the, the odds are you're going to lose. So you've got to play smart on greatest of all time. And as I said before, I highly recommend people playing on Greatest of All Time because it is much more fun than playing on, you know, for example, Amateur or Professional or something like that. Amateur is just ridiculously easy. Uh, professional is, again, it's too easy in, in my opinion. You don't really have to try too much. Champion's a nice, a nice step up. Champion's quite good. Uh, but it's no match for Greatest of All Time. Greatest of All Time's just got to be... It's my favourite game mode and it has been for, for a long time. Which is, which is strange, you know, with obviously the Isaac Frost video, people thought that that might not have been greatest of all time. But in reality, if you actually knew me and you knew the, like the, the, how much I used to play Fight Night, I wouldn't be able to play the, the career mode on Amateur. It just, it bore the life out of me. So, coming to the end of round two now. And I th I'm quite happy with that. I think his, um, his health and stamina could have gone down a bit more. Not a fantastic recovery from me there. But you can see his health and stamina are even, and like in the last video, I think it was the last video when I mentioned about getting a nice good balance between your <clears throat> between your between your punches. Now, because obviously he's coming in, I'm only going to his head. I'm making him waste, and you can see that his stamina and health are almost identical. Now that's perfect for me. Uh, it's 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 means that I'm doing what I want to be doing. It means that I'm working to the game plan. If, for example, his stamina was a lot higher than his health then I might be doing something wrong there he's probably going to be hitting me a lot to the body or to the head and that's why his stamina hasn't dropped if his just his stamina was down and his health was up then I haven't hit him enough so I'm quite happy with that they're, they're, they're literally almost identical and that's what you want you want them to be identical and just in case you're unsure what I'm talking about there I'm talking about his stamina and health you know his stamina and health the full bars when they're full they're, they're almost an identical length which is which is perfect Mine aren't identical. You can see my stamina is slightly lower than my health. Now, what you can assume from that is, um, even if you couldn't see the fight, you could only see the bars, you'd know that I'm throwing a lot of punches. I'm not landing as many punches as I could be, but I must be landing quite a lot of punches because my health is hardly moving. Which, because my health isn't moving, that explains why his stamina is going down. And my stamina is going down... Um, at a slower rate than his health is going down which means that I am hitting at over 50% of the time if I wasn't hitting over 50% of the time then my stamina would be lower than his health if that makes any sense and there, there were some good shots there I can maybe take him out here see now because he's sort of nestling up and getting in, getting in behind that guard I can't really break through it but I mean, look at his health and stamina. I mean, for round three, uh, it's coming up to round four. This is really, really good against a character that I was quite sort of sceptical whether I'd whether I'd be able to knock out. I'm really quite impressed with this. I'm quite happy with how this box has turned out. So recovery again, not great, but it won't matter because it'll still be higher than his anyway. And and when that can happen, when you don't get as good of a recovery rate than them, but you still end up with higher stamina and health, that's when you know you're seriously winning the fight. You know you, you're doing something, you're doing something right. That's for sure.
because there's no way you know usually if you're recovering two percent and they're recovering like eight percent there's no way you should be able to sort of be the same stamina or, or certainly not higher if you're having an even fight only if it's a complete whitewash and you're doing much much better than your opponent do you t tend to see stuff like that but now these these shots quite good it come with a brilliant left uppercut there i mean almost took my face off and I've noticed I'm quite weak to that shot. I've been caught with that shot with Eddie Chambers. I got caught with that shot against another random guy a few fights ago. And that uppercut does seem to do quite a lot of damage to me. It does catch me quite often. So I've just got to be careful with that. I might have to tighten that up later in the fight. Maybe not this fight, but maybe in later fights. I'll have to tighten that up. I can't, I, I don't really want to change too much in this fight now, I don't really want to start just worrying about that left uppercut because I don't need to, he's already taken an absolute hammering, if he changes his style and I can't hit then yeah I'll, I'll obviously adjust, and you can see he's doing them sort of left, I'd say they're left uppercuts to the body, that's what they come across as, that's what they look like, and um, they can do a lot of damage to you as well. If you've got left uppercuts to the body and you start to doing, or left or right uppercuts to the body, in fact, if you do a lot of those shots, they can do a lot of damage. The thing is, though, with Vitali, because he's such a long range character, I don't think his hooks and his uppercuts are as powerful as they could be, so I don't have to worry too much about that. If I was to fire somebody like Mike Tyson, um, who, who is obviously an inside fighter, inside fighter brawler sort of character, then. Um, you know, you'd think that it'd be quite an easy fight, but if I'm getting caught with them left uppercuts, it only takes one of them from Mike Tyson, I'll be on the ground, so I'm going to have to have a good think about that. When I am fighting Mike Tyson, obviously I can just keep him on the jab for the whole fight, but if he does leap forward and he gets some of them body shots in, then I'm going to be in big, big trouble. So I'm going to have to start thinking about how I can sort of negate the damage from those uppercuts while still maintaining the sort of damage especially when it comes to fighting you know, like I say um, Rocky Marciano or, or Mike Tyson Marciano could be a real pain because he's so he's so tough so hard to take out unless you do obviously do it perfect he's really hard to take out but really impressed with this really impressed with fighting in a guy of equal size actually slightly larger actually doing really quite well so quite happy with this the Eddie Chambers fight was a little bit of a a little bit of a worry because he did do quite a lot of damage to me he did make it a tough fight but you know not nothing like um, nothing like that this fight you know it's going down quite easily take, taking his alpha stamina down quite well and all seems okay he is blocking a lot of my shots though but not as many as I'm landing I am landing a lot more and these shots though, look, I mean, look at his health, his health, I mean, a couple of shots, a couple of clean shots and he's on the ground no matter what now. And that's, that's an important part of this. He might start to sort of close up a little bit and not, not be as aggressive, I hope he doesn't do that. Because as long as he keeps coming forward the way that he is, then he's got absolutely no chance of winning. And we're only on round five, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're like, we're not even halfway through the fight. We're nearly halfway, but we're not halfway yet. And his and his health is is halfway down. His stamina's not as low, which means that he's probably hitting me with more shots. And as I was saying earlier, you can see now that my stamina's dropped a lot, and his stamina hasn't dropped as much, which means that he's landing more shots now than he was. Um, the shots that he's landing must be hitting me in the body because that's why my stamina's going down, and I'm obviously missing a few more shots. The reason why that's happening is because I'm trying to sort of take him out and be a bit more aggressive. And being aggressive, you're obviously throwing more punches and obviously increasing your chances of missing just gonna finish quite slow here just uh, oh lovely left left hook there counter that had to took some damage off him recovery again he's got much better recovery there but it shouldn't matter because we're quite even in the stamina front now which he means he has caught up quite a lot in all honesty he's done good for his stamina recovery rate a lot better than I actually thought he would have um, but it shouldn't be too bad, his health's still fairly low. Uh, just another round like I had last time, and this shouldn't last too much longer now. I mean, because obviously his health has already been down, it should be easier to take it off. Ooh, try to catch him with that left uppercut there. Good job, I wasn't in range. Come on. I, oh, I should have been able to finish him there. If that right, if that right hand had landed as well, that would have been game over too. Getting to the end of the fight now, I can sort of sense it, I can sense it coming. 
I know that he can't keep doing this. He can't keep taking these shots. One of these times he'll throw a punch and I'll hit him and he'll throw another punch because the AI does that and then I'll be able to catch him. I only need like two good shots, like two, not two good shots, two good combinations is all I need. So in total probably about four shots, four clean shots should finish him off. Oh. Right, come on now, one, two, three, uh. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch him with that double jab and then follow up with the right hand, that's what I was trying to do there. Because if obviously, like I said in, in previous videos, if you can catch him with that jab and it, and it sort of stuns him, you, you they leave himself open to a free right hand. And when you've got the sort of right hand power that this character's got, you know it can it can put him out for good. But we've got plenty of time in the round, plenty of time in the fight. Should be okay. Should be okay. Uh, oh, it took some damage there. Come on, he can go here. Ah, oh, for God's sake. It's okay, might have to be next might have to be next round. I've still got twenty five seconds though. There we go, there we go. He's done, he's done. Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Tried to be a bit cocky there. Let's see how this pans out. Now <coughs> he should get up, it's round six. And then yeah, you know, knocked him down once. Should all be okay now, should be playing sailing. Actually he might not actually get up. <coughs> you don't often see this animation. No, he's not gonna get up. Wow, okay, wow. So, that's probably the, one of the first times I've ever seen somebody not get up from the first time on, on Greatest of All Time. I'm going to have to play this through and show you guys the actual settings on Greatest of All Time because <laughs> I'd be a bit sceptical if I saw that. But look at that, 56% punch accuracy. I knew I was hitting over 50%. Uh, both 100% counters, although I didn't throw many, granted. Uh, no right uppers, no powers, no left uppers, didn't throw any of them through that fight. I'm going to have to start throwing more uppercuts, I certainly am going to have to start throwing more. You can see that was our 10th fight. And yeah, everything's going up. Connect's going up, KO percent's going up, rank's gone up, record's gone up, everything's going up. So that's a good fight. Uh, did I get the... yes I did. I got the uh, fight challenge as well, so that's all good. So, let's wait for this to load up. And we'll just have a quick look at the settings and then we'll head on to the next one. Do, 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 do. There you go, greatest of all time guys. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.